Hello, students, and anyone else who may be watching from home. This is Mr. Borges, and we're doing our next direct starter in Tinkercad. There are 10 now. I know in some of the other videos I said there were seven. This one is Copy It. I think this is number seven, the new number seven. All right, we are going to go ahead and uh, reset this one <laughs> so I can start at the beginning with you. Here we go. Copy It going to read the directions because that's what we always do and that's what you should do. It says copy it. While creating in Tinkercad, it can be helpful to make a copy of a shape in your design. To make a copy, we can use the copy button in the top toolbar or use the hotkeys. We'll cover both options. Step one, drag and drop the box shape from the library of shapes on the right side of the screen to the work plane. And I'm um, not sure why it's showing a cylinder here. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Grab the box shape. Okay. So now we've done that. Then we're going to select the box. Okay, so we're off target here. So get yourself on target. And you'll please remember that if you're unable to get on target, you can use the arrow keys to nudge your shapes around. And if you need to be more careful to, to get your shapes on target, right, instead of stepping by one millimeter, you can always take smaller steps, right? Take yourself where you want to be on target. Okay, so select the shape on the work plane by clicking it. Right, you can see it's highlighted in blue when it's selected. We're going to use the copy icon from the top toolbar to create a copy. Right, there's this tool right here called copy. Now we've made the copy. We're going to use the paste icon from the top toolbar to place a copy of your selected shape next to the original. Paste. There it is. Right. You can also create a copy by using the short <laughs> the keyboard shortcuts. So in Windows, that would be Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And in Mac, that's going to be Option C to copy and Option V to paste. So we can try that out. So I'm going to make another copy. I'm going to select the original shape. I'm going to push Control C to make a copy. And then I'm going to push Control V. And I get a copy of my shape. And you can see now that there are two copies. And we're going to go ahead and put those on target just because there's targets over there. Now, that's not really the most important part of this lesson. All right. So, use the arrow key to dial this in. And that's it for copy it. Move the pasted box into position. One of the boxes is in orange. And then you're going to repeat step three through five for the other boxes. Okay, we've done that also. All right, there we go. And Tinkercad throws uh, candy, but that's not because we did it right. It always just throws stars on the last page. My computer's are lagging out right now. All right, here it says, right, what happens when you make a copy of a shape and then press paste more than once? You know? Well, you get you can paste as many times as you want. You can copy and then paste, 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 and get as many as you want. What happens when you move your shape after pasting and then paste again? What does happen? We're gonna control C, we're gonna control V, we're gonna move the shape and then paste again. Move the shape and then paste again. Move the copied shape and then paste again. Move the original and then paste again. So they kind of paste again. You can see, right? Uh, that's what happens when you move your shape after pasting and then press paste again. All right, folks, that's it for this one. All right, thanks for watching. We're going to next do duplicate. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.